2021 the best places to live around Boston. This is Nunen, the Greater Boston Real Estate Show. If you like real estate and if you like more information about Boston and the suburbs, please consider subscribing to my channel. Find my information in the link below. I love getting the phone calls and answering any questions you might have. So what are the my 15 most recommended towns around Boston? Well, I chose the towns that are very close to uh, Post Office Square in Boston. Why Post Office Square? Because that's where a lot of people are working. So that's the financial district in Boston. And of course, I took the times, uh, I think when I was doing my research, it was like 1.30 in the afternoon. So uh, there wasn't a lot of traffic. And also during the pandemic, you understand the traffic is not the same as it's gonna be when everything is back to normal, hopefully soon. And I also took the high school information even if you don't have children and schools are not important for you, it is in consideration because the better the schools, the easier it will be for you to sell your house later. So I'm always thinking ahead and I want my buyers to always think ahead. But of course have uh, in mind that Massachusetts schools are really top ranked. And when I'm telling you the numbers, it's number 152nd in Massachusetts, for example, it's still a very, very good school. So number one on my list is Brookline. And I'm gonna go from the least affordable to most affordable. Uh, Brookline is the least affordable from the 15 towns on my list. And with the average single family home sale I took the last six months was two million seven hundred thirty nine thousand um, from brookline it's about 22 minutes by car to get to the post office square if you're taking the public transportation it will take you about 25 minutes most of brookline is close to subway green line uh, so it will be pretty easy and simple to get to boston Number two on my list is Cambridge. Cambridge is very close to downtown Boston. It's right next to it. And average single family home price was 2,306,000. So consider that Brookline and Cambridge have really large, a lot of large single family homes. So the prices reflect that. It's about 10 to 15 minutes by car to get to Post Office Square in Boston. Um, if you're taking public transportation, maybe it's a bus or uh, it's the subway red line, it's about 25 minutes. Ringen Latin High School, which is one of the high schools in Cambridge, is 112th in Massachusetts. Number three on my list is Newton. Newton is awesome. It's large, it, it's comprised of 13 villages, and you can find all kinds of properties there from you know more affordable to less affordable but on average the single family home price was 1,712,000 in the last six months it's pretty close to boston it will take you 20 minutes depending where you are and the tr on the traffic um, if you're taking public transportation it's about an hour Newton schools are highly ranked. It's one of the top schools in Massachusetts and Newton South High School is ranked, let's see, number 20th. And Newton North High School is number 44. Number four on my list is Lexington. Lexington's um, average home sale price is 1,592,000. Uh, it's a little further from Boston, it's about 30 minutes. Uh, there are many buses. Actually, Lexington has its own bus line, so it will be easy for you to um, use public transportation. If you are going to Post Office Square in Boston, it's about uh, one and a half hours uh, it will take to get there. High school is one of the best. Actually, it's the best ranked in the close suburbs of Boston, it's number seven. Number five on my list is Belmont, Massachusetts. That's where my office is. And single family homes in uh, Belmont sold in the last six months uh, were priced at 1,378,000. That's how much they sold for. Um, it's about 20 minutes to get to downtown Boston. If you're taking public transportation, you will take a bus and then the red line. Uh, it will take you about 45 minutes. 
Um, Belmont High Schools are also highly, highly ranked. They're number nine in Massachusetts. Next on my list is Winchester. Uh, the average home sale price in the last six months was, let's see, 1,376,000. It takes you about 20, 25 minutes by car to get to downtown Boston. If you're taking public transportation, it will take you again like one and a half hours to get there, maybe uh, a little more with if there are any delays. Um, the high school is ranked number 21. Number seven is Somerville. Somerville um, average home sale price was 1,074,000. Uh, it's about 10 minutes to downtown Boston. Um, if you're taking public transportation, maybe one hour max. Um, and the high school is ranked as 126th in Massachusetts. Arlington is next on my list and that's one of my other favorite towns. Arlington has the suburban feel and also has that feel kind of like Cambridge, a little bit urban um, kind of vibe going on. Arlington's uh, home prices in the last two, three years, they have grown so much. Uh, reason is, you know, it's still very close to Boston and the schools are pretty good. They are number 23rd right now, uh, according to 2020 US News High School ranking. It has kind of everything. People who couldn't afford Cambridge anymore, they started buying in Arlington and Arlington prices just went up a lot. So Arlington um, average home sale price in 1,020,000 in the last six months. It takes you about 25 minutes by car. They also, um, East Arlington is serviced by Red Line subway station, Alawife subway station. So you can just drive to Alawife subway station, take the car, um, take the subway and get to Boston in pretty short time. So it takes you about one hour to get to post office square. If you are driving, it will take you about 25 minutes. Number nine is Watertown. Watertown is awesome. It's very close to Boston. The average home sale price in the last six months was 886,000. It's about 15 to 20 minutes to downtown Boston. If you're taking the public transportation, you will take the uh, bus and then the subway. It will take you an hour, 15 minutes. Watertown High School is ranked as 152nd in Massachusetts. So compared to other towns next to it, the high school is not as highly ranked, but I have many friends who have children that graduated from Watertown High School. They are very well educated. So again, take this with a grain of salt. Number 10 on my list is Melrose. Melrose has seen a tremendous growth recently. I had buyers who were trying to buy in Melrose and they were 25, 30 offers last year in 2020 and 2019. It just uh, had a huge uh, increase in value, the real estate in Melrose. And right now, in the last six months, the average home sale price was 830,000. It's about 20 minutes to get to Boston by car. And um, if, you are, if you're taking public transportation, it's about one hour, hour and a half. It can be less, you know, Melrose has the commuter train and the orange line, so, uh, it can be, you know, people from Stoneham sometimes go to Melrose to take the subway to get to Boston. Melrose High School is 106th in Massachusetts. Number 11 is Medford. People who couldn't afford Arlington started to buy in Medford. Medford prices have grown tremendously in the last uh, couple of years. Average Medford single family home price is 813,000. It takes you about 20 minutes to get to Boston by car or about one hour to get um, by public transportation. The high school in Medford is 193rd in Massachusetts. Number 12 is Waltham. Waltham has become uh, a place to be. Now it's, it's growing, it's blossoming, and Waltham single family home prices um, were 776,000. It takes you about 25, 30 minutes to get to downtown Boston by car. 
And Waltham has a commuter train, so there are two stations, one in, uh, close to Brandeis University and one is close to the center. And there are other buses and other options, so you can use the public transportation to get to downtown Boston. It will take you about an hour. Waltham schools are not as highly ranked. They are 274th in Massachusetts. Now the next three towns are the most affordable on my list. And those are the ones that are going to see a huge growth in the next um, two to five years. So you want to keep an eye on those. Number 13 is Woburn. The average home sale price was 674,000 in the last six months. It takes you about 25 minutes to get to Boston by car and about one hour, 15 minutes to use the public transportation. Woburn High School was ranked 216th in Massachusetts. Next is Stoneham. The beautiful thing about Stoneham is it's in, uh, located between 93 and 95. So uh, depending where you live, you can jump on one of those high highways and get to Boston really fast. It's very easy to commute. Um, so that's the major plus about Stoneham. The average single family home price was 638,000. It will take you about 20, 25 minutes to get to downtown Boston by car and about one hour to get um, by public transportation you can get to Melrose to get tea. Stoneham High School is ranked 123rd in Massachusetts and last on my list is Molden. Molden also saw a uh, huge growth in the recent years and I think it's it's gonna grow even more. Average home sale price in the last six months was 620,000. To get to downtown Boston it will take you about 15 minutes by car and about 45 minutes by subway or commuter rail. Molden is uh, accessible via Orange Line on the subway and the commuter rail. Molden High School is ranked 195 in Massachusetts. If you'd like to get my guide for buyers in Massachusetts, go to my description box. All my information is there and there's also a link where you can download that list. Please like and subscribe.